just over a month since Nigerians took to the streets to protest against police brutality, some demonstrators say they are now being targeted by authorities for their participation in the end SARS movement. Now, in early October, young Nigerians began demonstrating, calling for the ban of SARS. That was a notorious police unit that had long been accused of violent harassment. Now, the protest erupted after a video showed a SARS officer allegedly shooting a man in Delta State before driving off. Now, peaceful protests organized under the hashtag EndSARS spread across the country and to Nigerian diaspora communities around the world. The two weeks of protests ended when security forces fired live rounds on demonstrators in Lagos, killing several people. Okay, so for more on this crackdown uh, on NSARS activists, I'm joined at the table by our very own Tomi Oladipo. Good to see you, Tomi. So just how do people say that they're being targeted by the authorities in this, in this crackdown? Well, there's a range of complaints. First of all, local media were reporting that uh, the central bank had obtained a court order to freeze the accounts of a list of people who had taken part uh, in, in, the, in the protests. Okay. Uh, we've also heard reports of people being picked up from their homes, from different locations, being arrested. Uh, we're just onto some tweets now of complaints of some of these uh, arrests where uh, people are saying they, because they took part in the in the protests, yeah. they are being targeted. This person lists six people in Abuja who were picked up um, and says that uh, these people are being detained in prison for covering or participating uh, in the protests. Right. So go to the next tweet, um, which uh, is one of, the main, one of the main voices, is a comedian who, who said uh, armed thugs came, that came to disrupt the protests were not arrested. Up until now, none of them is in detention. It's the peaceful protesters who are being arrested and intimidated. And he lists a journalist who died in one of these protests who was uh, taken away by police. Uh, and then his body was found, and nobody has been right. held accountable for that. Uh, there have been attempts to deregister an advocacy uh, organization that took part in, these, in this movement as well. Uh, some people have uh, fled for their safety, uh, and even some people's passports have been seized to prevent them from le leaving the country. Wow, OK. Um, have, have, have the authorities, the officials in Nigeria, said anything about, about what's going on, the arrests, the seizing of, of passports, bank accounts being frozen? We've not heard a sort of blanket uh, claim of responsibility right. targeting the, the NSARS movement. Um, the, the, the authorities will refer to specific cases. And, for example, with the seizing of the passport, the, 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 the Interior Ministry said there's, there's, uh, they denied allegations that there is a no-fly list. And okay. they're saying people are allowed to, to travel. But, for example, uh, the Immigration Department okay. uh, said that some of the passports that were seized were done so at the request of an unnamed security uh, agency. Whoa. So you have cases like that. The police have come out to say that, and uh, they even put out a statement saying that they are going to use legitimate force if there's any violent protests going on. So this okay. is an attempt to hit back, really. Right, Tommy, we don't have too much more time. Quickly, what is the state of the NSARS movement now? The, the people are no longer on the streets, as we know, but the, the movement is still going on online. They've stopped fundraising for now. Uh, they're still trying to help people who are wounded in the, in the, um, in, in the protests and people who are arrested and trying to get them out. Uh, but as a whole, it doesn't have the same momentum it once had, but you never know if there were to be another killing, mm. who, who's to say what, what would happen. But the people are still upset at, at, the, at the way the government has handled this. All right. Tommy Oladipo, as ever, thank you.